Hi Pisces, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your mid-August money and career tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Do keep in mind this is general, so just take what resonates, but we're going to jump right into it, keep it simple, and pull from this tarot deck that I just added to my collection. I'm hearing very satisfied, or feeling satisfied rather, and um, if you could see my face, that was how I was feeling. All right, so there's moments in the second half of the month. Uh, if not one big moment where you're feeling uh, quite satisfied for Pisces we have the fool okay there's a light feeling about you in the second half of the month you're not feeling overly stressed I feel uh, some of you are preparing for travel or thinking about traveling moving forward there could be a fresh beginning for you in one way shape or form tied into your career um, or your money investments but I also feel like a lot of you are just trying your best or getting a push from spirit to have more fun in the midst of your uh, endeavors right in the midst of doing what you have to do obligation wise um, even running errands right or uh, in your living situation when it comes to getting the job done regardless of what your position is okay um, i'm hearing interviewing with ease for those looking for a position and i sense that there's a um a happy sort of light fun way about you in, a, in the interview process if you are interviewing excuse me if you are interviewing and that's helping you in one way shape or form um, but we have temperance okay so i'm also getting a very angelic vibe about you once again but i do feel like you are um helping other people i'm getting pouring into the cup of others okay and that helpful nature either from the past is coming back into play to help you out or you could just feel as if you have to help others through your business or through your job but i do feel as if you are needing to have patience at certain points okay certain um, obligations may entail a bit of um, frustration or obstacles to overcome but remember after watching this reading there's satisfaction to experience so don't allow for whatever you need to have patience with to get the best of you okay but i do feel like you are needing to remember that uh, you are a star in the making okay i feel like there's going to be uh, moments of vulnerability in the second half of the month that teach you something about what you um, have been through or just how much you've grown through your work right or through the difficulties with certain living situations okay um, i sense that i'm seeing the king of swords you're going to be reminded that you have the knowledge wisdom and experience to make the best out of whatever you're embarking upon or just uh, moving through throughout the second half of the month. Um, they're saying experiencing. But I also just feel like you're not giving up at certain points. That's the vibe where um, certain people would give up with what you have to deal with or just um, all that you've been through, but you're a warrior, okay? Um, with the world in the Knight of Swords, I sense that you're just moving with fierceness okay now that fierceness doesn't have to feel heavy or just lack that angelic feeling um or lightness and energy but i just sense that there's it could be moments where you're feeling more angelic and then others you're feeling more feisty and a little bit heavier in energy but i feel for the most strong to this reading it's a combination of both okay um a light feistiness but i do sense that you are uh inspiring people through your work okay uh, you could find that you're seeing a bit of an evolution taking place with your career, with your job, your business, you name it. Feeling as if you have to speak a lot. I'm seeing the Eight of Wands. It may feel like a very fast-paced uh, remainder of August, but you just have what it takes to move with grace and, uh, okay, with gratitude. Just, just do what you got to do, when you got to do it, and then take care of oneself afterward, afterwards or in between or before whenever you have the space and time to do so um, but I do feel like you are thinking about what needs to be released okay you're, there's also a vibe about you where you're not putting up with people's BS and they sense that about your energy but you're not overly forcing that uh, energy all the meanwhile I just had to take a few moments in between the reading uh, due to the horrible energy in my current living situation but I did get a few messages. I heard the money is going to flow in in the second half of the month as it's meant to. Remember that, okay? But also, they were saying that you are going to 
uh, or advising you to communicate with ease and walk with confidence and all will fall into place as it's meant to, okay? You're working uh, so hard, but at times forgetting the balance of all of which needs to come into play, right? Um, needing to take care of oneself, right? Don't forget about your the connections that mean the most to you because I sense that you're so money and career focused that you don't um, remember the other areas of your life um, at certain moments. Sorry about the doorbell, if you could hear that. Uh, there may be a lot of distractions for you in the month, um, uh, stopping and beginning again, uh, like I had said before. Uh, you may have an unexpected visitor uh, when you're at work or at home, um, so don't be surprised when that happens. But I do feel like there's a need to keep the hope alive at certain points, and a reminder that things are falling into place for you, even if it feels a bit confusing or all over the place in certain ways. I sense that you're just... Um, debating on taking a leap of faith towards something completely new but holding oneself back at certain points but I do feel like you're also being pushed to reflect on past financial decisions or past jobs that didn't work out or weren't the best uh, choice at the time and how that's all played into and built up to where you're at now or where you're meant to be heading okay um, I do feel like you are um, passionate though okay um, people are seeing you as somebody who, again, doesn't give up and will make the money they need to when they need to, okay? Uh, when you have an opportunity to pay off a bill, I would advise just paying it off and giving yourself that peace of mind, given that you are um, probably seeing signs that that's meant to be in one way, shape, or form, all right? Now that that said, uh, there's going to be signs, synchronicities, messages coming through from spirit left and right. And I do feel like you're going to, uh, at times, feel a little bit annoyed, okay? Um, you're going to be annoyed and then see a sign from spirit, or an angel number, or a feather, or something of the sort. You're protected moving forward. Don't allow the energy at work or in a living situation or both to get the best of you. Take a deep breath and recognize that moving forward with a level of uh, peace and serenity, being the peace in a situation is going to be key, okay? Um, find ways to to balance oneself, right? Uh, rebalance oneself, excuse me, or reground oneself to um, just take a deep breath, okay? Meditate potentially if that works for you. But you're going to be learning more about how uh, bright your future is, right? What the future entails for you individually. Um, you may even be pushed to do some research on a new job, a new uh, investment. I'm hearing a new car for some, but I do also feel like you are um, potentially doing some training at work or some um, revamping of one's knowledge, right? Some uh, training that you once already did or just a refreshing training, something of the sort, depending on your situation, of course. I'm now hearing the clouds are clearing. I get that this reading is a bit all over the place, but that's kind of the vibe of your August or just at least the second half. You're manifesting what you desire at this time, so just keep that in mind and just uh, tread carefully when it comes to one's thoughts. And there's also going to be a reminder, be careful what you wish for. Now don't be surprised when you finish up the month at the very least and feel like the King of Cups, okay? Bold, confident, um, satisfied, but a bit emotional. You know when you're overly tired, overworked, uh, just feeling a bit emotional because of it all? Um, uh, they're saying emotional sensors are triggered, but I do feel you are uh, understanding that, okay, this is again a reminder that I need to balance things out, but everything's happening the way it's meant to. How can I move through the month of September feeling less burnt out and more and still just as satisfied, if not more so? Some questions to ask oneself as things progress for you and progress for you, excuse me, in the way they are meant to. Now I feel there are going to be moments when you uh, try to express yourself or you try to share something or you speak and you don't say the right words or you slip up. Spirit saying that that's okay. That's okay. M laugh it off like I just did. Move with confidence, right? Speak with confidence. Um, replace what you need to in the sentence or the story and just move right along. Okay, you will receive what you need to when you need to. Remember, the possibilities are endless for you at this time, and I do feel like um, you're being watched out for, you're being guided and protected moving forward. That's why you're getting so many synchronicities and messages at this time. Your money will increase more so in the month of September. Just take a deep breath 
and do what you gotta do when you gotta do it, all right? So I hope this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light. Go enjoy the rest of your month and I'll see you next time. Bye, Pisces.